Dear Pat, dear Professor Krivorodko, thank you very much uh, for the kind invitation and sorry for the technical problem and the inconveniences. Uh, so I am very honored to be invited to that uh, uh, precious and honorable conference. Would like to present our experiences with the, about the European or non-European system of education and certification of breast surgeons. Actually, I don't know European knowledge and, uh, and cannot uh, divide the experience and knowledge to European, Central European or Eastern European knowledge. So we should have a continuous medical education. And uh, that's why my government um, um, with uh, the, the uh, actually uh, tried to close that window, sorry. So my former head of uh, and director of the, of the Institute of National Institute of Hungary, now Minister of Human Capacities, uh, 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 Government Hungary, Professor Miklos Kasla, was initiated and established the so-called Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology just because of uh, uh, the first aim was to enhance the professor knowledge and skills in the field of oncology. Of course, this is a multidisciplinary uh, scientific area and not only surgery and not only breast cancer exists, uh, especially aiming the Central Eastern European situation. And the main aim is to decrease the mortality of that um, um, terrible disease. This is a picture presenting the situation because uh, actually 21 countries were represented at that session on a ministerial or state secretary level. And the uh, politicians supported uh, and signed a memorandum uh, uh, for that uh, that uh, active uh, cooperation in the Central Eastern European region. And uh, some couple of months after that, uh, in January last year, in the House of the Hungarian Parliament, actually the Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology was established. Uh, and. Uh, after that, here is a, a picture presenting that uh, very high level uh, session and meeting. And uh, again, representants, I was elected as president and Professor Andre Kaprin um, as a vice president of that um, uh, academy, as well uh, uh, Dr. Ferenc Visco, the State Secretary, Ministry of Health, uh, presenting the Republic of Serbia. Um, we established an official homepage. This is a three-language homepage, and you can visit this, uh, uh, visit this homepage, and uh, I hope that you will find uh, uh, work information. So according to breast cancer surgery, this is the cancer world latest issue um, where uh, uh, Shirley Bianca, uh, who is a survival, breast cancer survival, and the leading advocate, uh, she says that breast cancer surgery should be a job for only for certified specialists. Uh, and this is the main aim, but we've decided one year before in 2018, Together with colleagues from uh, the national uh, from the National Petrov Institute, namely Professor Kriborodko and Alex Besonov, and some colleagues from uh, Poland, and some colleagues from Romania, and some colleagues from Slovakia, uh, from Ukraine. And we established uh, with the full support of ESSO, the Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Consortium. Now, the Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Consortium is uh, somehow a pilot uh, uh, association of uh, uh, that, uh, that Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology. The main difference is that the Central European Academy of Oncology has um, a significant political support as well as well uh, a budget for further uh, uh, for further programs and projects uh, we've created our own social media page and had the first conference at that time in 2019, uh, June in Budapest. Uh, these are the representatives uh, coming from the different, uh, different countries. And we had the second Congress. Uh, the second Congress uh, was uh, organized by, um, by uh, Professor Krivorodko um, and uh, 
and actually uh, was very successful in St. Petersburg last year. We have very good connection, and as mentioned by uh, Professor Krivorodko, really we are good friends as well, not only partners in that uh, uh, oncological field. And the third Congress uh, we can uh, already announce will be this year in October. It will be an online Congress and will be organized uh, by Andrew Zhigulin um, in Kiev. So according to the European education, uh, we cannot uh, make difference between education uh, in uh, between the education uh, in Eastern and Western Europe. But there is in Western Europe there is a special exam. The special exam um, is uh, aiming uh, um, to uh, qualify uh, the breast surgical knowledge, theoretical and practical knowledge. And I can state that this is a really a very high quality exam. The exam is organized by the uh, by the UMs, uh, by the so-called European Board of Surgical Qualification Board, and supported by the ESO, the European Society of Surgical Oncology. That exam uh, actually has two parts, a written uh, exam and a multi-choice questionnaire, and after that, an oral part, and only those who can pass the multi-choice questionnaire, which is online in the last couple of three years, can pass uh, and uh, the, can pass the oral exam. The oral exam uh, actually has. Uh uh, four uh, parts. Uh, one is uh, uh, one is to analyze um, a high quality paper, and there are two or three cases uh, 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 which you can you have to analyze. And there are very dedicated questions uh, aiming to measure uh, the knowledge of the candidate. So actually, that um, type of exam has a basic textbook, and that textbook you have visited and you can see this is the breast cancer management for uh, for surgeons. Actually, this is a textbook from the multidisciplinary point of view. And here's some pictures representing the the the, the exam. And here are the here are the certificates. Actually, the exam is not very popular in Central Eastern Europe uh, till now, nor in my country Hungary. So you can see my colleagues uh, and even me who were passing that uh, 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 who were passed that exam had been passed that exam in the last uh, couple of uh, of years. Bresso is another project uh, was created and established by Tibor Kovac. Tibor Kovac uh, um, is uh, originated from Hungary and was the president of the European Society of Surgical Oncology. We've established that. Uh, a project called Bresso to standardize the European uh, breast uh, surgical and breast cancer surgical knowledge and the standardized accreditation not only for the professionals, for individuals, then for departments and uh, for, um, for certain hospitals and certain centers as well. You can find uh, home page. The home page is only in English language and we are on the way that to, to transfer uh, and to translate the uh, home pages to Russian language as well, as well to be able to um, to be able to organize the exam as well in Russian language and if necessary as well in Polish language as well. So the Bresso, the main aim and vision is to increase the standardized uh, level of knowledge and experience in the field of modern breast cancer surgery across Europe, and of course, aiming Central Eastern Europe as well, because uh, Central Eastern Europe and candidates and colleagues from Central Eastern Europe are heavily and, and really significantly uh, um, underpowered, it's, 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 it's hardly any who would like to pass that really high quality exam, uh, the, the breast surgical exam. Here you can see a couple, uh, couple of aspects uh, um, uh, representing the main aims for that Bresso project. As well, we, we've created uh, the 
the and establish the the, the theoretical and practical uh, knowledge curricula for the European breast surgeons. And of course, uh, Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Consortium is uh, like a, a founding partner for that project, uh, uh, actually. And we are proud that uh, we are proud that uh, we are able to uh, be and sitting at a table directly and can influence the um, uh, projects um, um, very directly. So that uh, core curricula is already harmonized uh, with the curricula in the United States as well. Um, as next, here is the new uh, European certification. And those who passed the old SOEBSQ exam um, uh, had that type of certification uh, as well as an honorary uh, certification. The breast units for training recommended is again certified and uh, uh, we are awaiting uh, uh, high quality so-called breast units or comprehensive cancer centers from Central Eastern Europe, from Russian Federation, and even from other countries, Central Eastern or Eastern European countries to join that uh, breast project and to, uh, to apply for accreditation. And so colleagues from West to the East, from East to the West can share the, the practice, the practical education uh, in the near future. Uh, we are performing uh, international workshops in the field of oncoplastic breast surgery. As well, a very, very a significant step was uh, to create a Hungarian language test book, then to translate it uh, to English to have a very cheap textbook for Central Eastern European colleagues uh, that textbook is aiming the technical aspects and, of course, partly the theoretical oncological aspects as well. And as a uh, as a success of our friendship uh, with um, Professor Krivorodko and Petrov Institute and uh, Dr. Alexander Bessonov, we we're able to translate the textbook to a Russian language. And I think this is really uh, a very high quality uh, textbook. I'm very thankful to be, uh, to be able to, uh, to, to, to complete that project. And as far as I know, the textbook is already available. Um, uh, on the market in uh, in uh, in the Russian Federation, and as far I know, the textbook is not very expensive um, um, in uh, in Russian language as well. Here you can see the two uh, uh, godfathers who were able to cover and to translate uh, that um, huge uh, project uh, and textbook uh, pages uh, over 750 pages uh, full with um, uh, full with pictures and figures and and detailed technical um, presentation. So thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, this is one of the one of the most successful projects uh, we had uh, uh, in uh, in front of us, and I'm very very happy that we were able to 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 complete that project. So according um, uh, according to the uh, to use the online system, uh, COVID was a terrible thing or is a terrible thing. But thanks to COVID, we were able to have more experience with the online connection, with online meetings, with online congresses and webinars. So we started the uh, International Web Academy, covered by the Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology. We are very open to accept topics and. Uh, uh, with simultaneous translations uh, and uh, and creating the flyers and um, and promoting, we are happy to offer that op opportunity. Actually, that uh, idea was arised uh, uh, again um, uh, about because of the because our experience um, with together with the National Petrov Institute and then and, uh, my institute in Budapest, the National Institute of Oncology, we had regular meetings meeting in 2019 as well in 2020, just still the, the start of uh, serious COVID uh, um, uh, era. And we would like to 
to thematical program to create, uh, to prepare our colleagues uh, to be able to pass that, uh, that uh, uh, European breast surgical exam. Or we can create our own exam, uh, international in the region, which uh, of course accepts uh, much better our specialties, uh, our national specialties and national aspects, uh, what we have uh, in Central Eastern Europe as well. We had already the, the first session, the first session was actually like a journal club. Uh, experts from the National Institute of Oncology presented the uh, very current paper, the immunotherapy for early breast cancer. This is an ESMO uh, ESMO uh, uh, supported paper, one of the most precious and, uh, and highlighted and important uh, topic. The next session will be on the 20th of July um, and will be presented by Professor Slavomir Czesla from Poland. He is an expert in the field of uh, breast uh, anatomy. So I think uh, we can easily involve uh, professionals from Central Eastern Europe because we have many, many um, um, uh, experts uh, from the region. And so we would like to invite again everybody to that meeting. Not only breast cancer, the melanoma is one of our, um, our main topics. So I had a, a, had a webinar in November last uh, year, as well a multidisciplinary webinar for, the, for multidisciplinary treatment, mostly the, the diagnostical imagination, imagine for for uh, for uh, for breast cancer education is everything the key movement as well in western europe so uh, the international breast symposium Düsseldorf is one of the most uh, uh, most uh, 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 most um, uh, uh, precious uh, conference uh, in Europe and in the world, and as well uh, last year, a Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical uh, Consortium was an invited guest to that international symposium as well this year, and of course colleagues from Central Eastern Europe has a robot um, um, to that Congress as well the the the, the best of the of the of the plastic surgeons um, uh, are involved in that uh, um, um, in that uh, uh, Congress actually Torsten Kuhn professor Torsten Kuhn uh, is present uh, co-chairing that session and actually a breast uh, um, was open-minded to involve the Central Eastern European guys uh, to that clinical trial uh, association. And I have to state that Central European medical care and Central European health system and our everyday clinical practice, we should increase our activity uh, and professional and scientific activity to be able to uh, uh, support such kind of uh, huge prospective randomized studies or databases. As after that, we should be able to start with, with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, such kind of high-quality uh, studies. And at the end, we should be able to present the results as well, to analyze and present the result in high-quality papers as well. So not only Europe, Western and Central Eastern or Eastern Europe is active, then Asia is active and India is active. And there are some uh, guys uh, uh, now active in, uh, uh, in, in UK, namely uh, Professor Ash Kutari from the Guy St. Thomas Hospital, who is uh, uh, a key person bridging the continents uh, and open the window to the whole world as well, the breast Global Breast Global uh, project was created by him and uh, by other colleagues. Uh, the partner organizations, again, Central Eastern European Breast Consortium is involved. And again, everything is about the education. Everything is about uh, how to get up-to-date quality information and how to reach our colleagues anywhere in the world, as you can see. Uh, the first conference is 
this year from Friday to Sunday. Please, this is a, a conference for free. Here you can see you have to register and you can join that three-day meeting, again, involving a very famous and experienced uh, uh, professionals from the world. And an initiation from Turkey and from Italy, the breastics, uh, 24 hours breast oncoplastic uh, uh, web webinar again aiming only education education for Australia education for uh, and the states education for Europe education for uh, for uh, for Asia so all the national societies or all the surgical breast surgical society from Egypt and so on and so on is uh, or China is involved so you can find really really very high quality, uh, sometimes interoperative uh, 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 presentations, uh, online presentations as well, uh, as well um, in Brastic's uh, 24 hours. Um, so about the European tendencies, there is a so-called cancer mission program called the Horizon Europe. Um, it's enough money and political support uh, to increase uh, the activity uh, according to translational science and clinical science. And actually, there was a there was a statement and a, and a, and the position paper uh, published last year. And actually, that position paper says that the key uh, key key, uh, key um, activity to organize that uh, the harmonize the activity between east and the west uh, could be done by the central eastern european academy as well uh, in clinical research as well in translational research that's why we've decided to organize uh, uh, a, a huge meeting, an international meeting between the East and the West uh, that will be on the 4th and 5th of November in Budapest, um, organized by the Central Eastern European Academy of Oncology to be able to, to create and to better join to large international uh, clinical studies uh, and uh, to be able to start such kind of uh, studies, to found such kind of clinical studies so everybody is welcome to that meeting with uh, scientific topics, education and clinical science and translational science is in one package. Um, we would like to create the first Central Eastern European professional consensus statement, which will be this year uh, in November. We had our consensus statement for the fourth time. Um, uh, actually, this is a Hungarian one and an up-to-date involving the, the, the involving the diagnostics, the pathology, the medical, the radiotherapy, and the surgical care and rehabilitation of breast cancer. And we've let it uh, translate it to Russian and the English language. And uh, already the academicist and, uh, uh, was asked to create national panels, and the national panels uh, should uh, check that basic document, and that basic document should be, uh, sh should be up-to-dated and modified. And after two rounds of modification and negotiation, we will have a conference in November again in Hungary, uh, financed and covered by the European Central European and Academy of Oncology. And at the end, we will have for the first time the first Central Eastern European uh, consensus according to the multidisciplinary best cancer care, containing the minimum uh, quality uh, factors uh, for our everyday breast cancer care, uh, if necessary, translated to Polish, if necessary, to translate it to other languages. So I'm very proud to announce uh, our textbook in Russian language. I'm very thankful to Professor Pat Kivorotko. I'm very thankful to other colleagues uh, uh, as well, Professor Belayev, um, as well, uh, Professor Koprin. Um, and uh, uh, don't forget that Central Eastern Europe and Central Eastern European Breast Cancer Surgical Confer uh, Consortium is the first. Thank you very much.